Hey guys, it's Gonzalez Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos on Magic Leap. Today we're gonna be doing an experiment where I'm basically gonna be using some of my videos to create a TV in augmented reality. So let's go ahead and get started in Unity and I'm gonna show you all the steps that are required to do so. Thank you guys. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be working on today. So I have a demo to show you of the experience that we're gonna be building. So let me just lower the volume. So you can see that I'm basically flying and, and what this is is going to be uh, let me just lower the volume even more. It's really hard to. So what's gonna be, it's going to be a texture of me. It's gonna be a raw texture that we're using to set the video and it's displaying on the head post canvas. So you can see how I'm flying. I can see the visual effects. And because of the background that I have, everything is just blending pretty nicely. And you can see that as well. It's working really well. So let me show you video two as well that is colliding with the particles you can see that they're kind of going around and, that's and you can kind of hear the audio is really it's really good in the in the way of the particles so let's go ahead and go back into the fire effect and, then and that's that. basically what i'm going to be walking you through so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so now that you saw the demo in the beginning of the video i want to show you how we can create something like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be putting this in the in github so you guys can download it it's called magic leap digital tvs and we're basically going to start from scratch. The other things that we're going to have in the scene, it's going to be a content component, a rendering component. The content component has a controller. It's all already set up for you. And the rendering component has just a head post canvas. If you want to look at a head post canvas in a different, basically in a different example, there's a lot of examples that Magic Leap provides on how to set this up, or you can just look at this scene which I'm gonna be placing and actually place in the scene folder. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for a few videos. And I'm also going to be organizing this in a way that is easier for you to find. So I'm just gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it videos. And let me just make sure that I spell that right. There we go. And then I have a lot of videos that I done in YouTube as you can imagine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a couple of them. It doesn't matter which one they are. And, and then we can basically are going to create a, it's kind of like a channel changer. So you can, you can change the channel if you like. And I'm just going to pick, let's go ahead and pick these visual effects, which are really cool. And maybe we can pick one where I am sitting in front of the computer. So I'm just going to pick these three and we're going to prepare them. And when I say prepare them, we're just going to resize them because they're too big right now. And this is just going to be videos. And then I'm just going to paste them in here. So what I'm going to do for this, hey guys, I'm going to do right again. Welcome back let to me the just lower the volume. And I'm going to just resize them because, yeah, they are way too big. We can probably just keep them maybe about, we can just do about two minutes each. It doesn't need to be right on two minutes, but we can do something like that. And then I want to start it where, we, where I don't have any fading. So I'm just going to do it right there. We'll do two minutes on this one, and then we'll do two minutes on each of the other ones. All right, let's do the same thing in hey here. Guys, right again, and welcome back and let me lower the volume. Yeah, and sure. then I'll just do this one as well. I don't think this one has any fading, so we don't have to worry about it. And then we'll just do also, we can just do about two minutes there. I think that's fine. And also let's do a replace. If you don't have a Mac, you can also do this in yeah, Windows. Yeah, so just just know that you know that it's possible to do it in either operating system and let me just go ahead and do two right there and the reason why i want to do different ones is because i want to look at how the variation of colors will look like in augmented reality so it's more of a test for me to find out what video will look better as far as like in augmented reality if the colors are going to help if they're not going to help all right, so now that I have these, let's go ahead and, right okay, let's go ahead and rename them. So this is going to be video one. I don't really need a title, so we'll just do video two. And then we can just do video three. All right, so now that I have those, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And then we're just going to drag them and drop them into my videos folder. Awesome. So now what I want to do is just, I just want to make sure that everything is set correctly. I really don't have to make any changes other than making sure that I didn't break anything. 
and then in fact if I hit play here then I know that those videos so I'm just gonna test them okay so that looks good hey guys how's it going and then that looks good as well all right so now that we have those what do we need to do to make sure that we can play those videos and one of the things that I'm gonna do is I have a rendering component so I'm just gonna create a new a new game object this one is going to be we can just call it videos or we can call it channels if it was a channel you were streaming from different channels and then I'm just gonna drag him and drop him and drag him and drop him and drag him and drop him and I don't think I, that did anything because I think what it's doing is creating a new video player on each that's fine let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do one first and then maybe in the next video we'll just do where we're changing the channels let's just do one so I'm just gonna say video one and then I'm just going to duplicate these and then remove it's going to remove this and then this will be videos and then we'll just put it inside of videos and then make sure that everything is at zero 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 and I think everything everything looks good I'm also going to go into 2d mode here because I want to make sure that this is going to be laid out correctly and what I'm going to do is in this video I'm not going to add any coding whatsoever we're just going to have that video playing so and then on the ne uh, next video we'll control the video through a script which was gonna allow us to play video two and also video three. So we're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna play on awake. We're gonna wait for the first frame, but we're gonna be looping. And I think all the other settings are okay. The, except this one, this one actually needs to be API only. Not specifically for this video, but we're gonna be using that on the next video to, to play it. So for now, actually we're gonna, we're gonna need to do it in this video because I'm going to, like I showed you in the beginning, I had a raw texture and that raw texture is something that we need to set through, through a script so we need to say API only and I think everything else everything else looks fine all right so now that we have that we need to create a new basically a raw texture so it's gonna create it under here under video and then we're just gonna go into UI and we're gonna create a raw what's called a raw image it looks like this doesn't have a canvas so let's go ahead and undo that let's go into our head post canvas and make sure that we do it in the right place so I'm just going to do it right here and do raw image. There we go. And it looks like the image is just gigantic. That's fine. We'll just resize it. And then we'll just do, let's go ahead and resize that. I'm going to do just 0 0.01 here. Let's do that there. And then let's set this to zero. Let's go here. There we go. So that aligns better there. So what I'm going to do is because we have the controller status, I want the controller status to show just just for now because I want to be able to see the you know that the controller is connected because what we're going to do is we're going to use the controller to basically change the channel which is going to be changing from video one to video two to video three all right so I think that it's aligned perfectly there then the next thing that I need to do is this is going to be called video video underscore one and we can just call it raw image is something like that and then what we can do is if we want to keep them close we can just actually let's move this one here and then I'll just move this one here video one this is gonna go and it's gonna be this one is gonna be the video player and then the one below it's gonna be the raw image so let's just do it that way so that we know what each of them are so it's gonna be the video player here which has all the settings for the video clip and then this one is gonna be the image that we're going to be using to basically draw the video so what I'm going to do here on the color we can go ahead and change the alpha all the way down that way we don't see we don't see that texture and we don't need to do any ray casting so I'm just going to disable that all right so that's great and and it looks good but we don't have anything that is controlling that just yet so what I'm going to do is we need to create a new scripts folder and I'm going to call it scripts of course and then inside of it we're just going to call we're just going to create a new script and this script is going to be called a stream video awesome now what i'm going to do is go to assets and then let's go ahead and open up our code and let's go ahead and go into our assets directory or scripts directory and then a stream video so let me just make this a little bigger so you guys can see perfectly all right how about that there we go so one of the things that I want to require is I want to require a raw image just like I show you that we were going to need. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to require a raw image. 
and this is going to say that it's not going to find it but we're going to be bringing it in with the unity engine ui so the other thing the other things that i'm going to need as well is i want to i want to give the player a little bit of time to prepare the video so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new serializable field this one is going to be private it's going to be float and i'm going to say wait to play for seconds and then we're just going to say we're going to wait for one second or we can say two seconds i think I think one second is enough. The other thing that we're going to do is we're also going to create a reference to the video player. So let's just say video player. And this is going to say that it doesn't know where it is, but that's okay. We'll just fix it. Video player. And yep, it doesn't know where it is. So we're just going to bring in Unity Engine that video. So as you can see, and you can imagine, we're going to need an image, basically the raw image reference. So we're going to say serializable field, private, and then this one is going to be raw image. And this is going to be our raw image, which we're going to be using to draw on the UI. And then I think that's it. So now what we're going to need is we're going to create a new, a new property, a new method, I'm sorry, that is going to start the video. So this one is going to be private as well. It's going to be void. And then we can just say start video. And then we're also going to be having one for stopping the video. And we can make this we can make this public if we're gonna need to access this from the controller. In fact, let's actually do that because we're gonna need to call this from the controller, not in this video, but in a future video. So but let's just get everything going because we're gonna need that. So now what I'm gonna need is we can just get rid of these ones for now. The start and the update. And then what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna create a new, basically a new method that is going to be preparing the video. The video player and also play in our video so i'm just gonna say i enumerator and then play video this one is also going to be private well it's not these ones are not private anymore but this one is going to be private now and this one's going to be video player we're going to say prepare because we need to prepare the video it's just one of the requirements and then we're going to say wait for seconds wait for seconds is going to be our variable and we're going to say wait for x amount of seconds, say so x is gonna be the amount that we are giving it as a property, which is the way to play for seconds. So make sure that we are selecting that property. Awesome, so now we're just gonna do a while loop. This while loop is going to check if the video player is not prepared, then we're gonna keep looping and basically yelling so that it you know it goes through that loop and when it's done, it's going to, we're going to play our, our video. So it's gonna say yell, return wait for seconds which is going to be our variable and then we're going to do a break so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab our raw image we need to grab the texture of the raw image because that's what we're going to be using to draw and we're going to be using the video player texture to set that variable and then we're just going to say video player and then play so we can play our video so just to give you a walkthrough of this, we're gonna basically call an enumerator with the core routine, and we're going to prepare the video. We're gonna get a variable so that we can wait for seconds. We're gonna say, okay, as long as we haven't prepared, we're gonna keep returning. When this is done, it's going to grab the variable of the tech of the video player texture, setting the raw image texture so that we can see it on the UI, and then playing the video. So now that we have this, we're gonna say, on this one, we're gonna have to throw new not implemented exception and i don't know that i have it but we can just say we can for now we can just say log not implemented because we're going to be implementing this on the like i said on the next video and let me go ahead and just do a lambda here because we don't need that much real estate all right so now what i'm going to need is i'm going to need to start the core routine so we can do we can do the same thing that we did on the on the stop we can just do a lambda and then here I'm just going to say start core routine and I'm going to be passing in the play video meta and then we're going to start playing the video so right now so far there's nowhere where, where we're actually playing the video so what we can do is we can say public it's actually private void star we can either do it on the star or we can do it on, the, on awake I don't think it matters to be honest right now and I can just say start video and we can just just do the same thing I did below so start video, 
it's going to start playing, it's going to call this method, it's going to call the core routine, and then we're going to play our video. Stop is not implemented yet, we will implement it on the next video. We can remove this using a statement that I'm not using. So now let's go back into Unity, and then let's make sure that everything is connected. So what I'm going to do, remember that these require uh, an actual raw image. So I'm going to add this to the one that has the raw image, and I'm just going to say stream video. I already have my requirement, which is this attribute, so it didn't complain about it. We're going to say we're going to wait for one second before we play the video. We need to have a video player, so I'm just going to associate the video underscore one with that component. And then the raw image is just going to be itself. And that's everything that I need to do there. Let's go ahead and test this and make sure that it works. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and play it and see if this works. And let me go ahead and do and make a change here. So I'm going to mute it so that we can see it. So for some reason, we can't see it. And I think it's because we have the alpha all the way down. And that's exactly why. So what I'm going to do is just change the alpha, move it up. And then we can see this actually working. And we can go ahead and go back to the new right, audio. So this is what I'm going to be creating, and I'm really excited about and, the and I like that I selected this video because we have some ver like right, I said, so visual effects. So, so let me go ahead and oops, let me go ahead and mute it. And you can see how everything is playing just just awesome. And the other cool thing that I'm going to be able to do is, and we could probably probably do this in the next video, is actually change the head post canvas so that we can control how far the Canva is going to be from us. So if we want to change, you know, change it to go further away from us, we can do that. Or if we want to move it up, we can move it, we can move it up. And then, which will also tilt it. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you on this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.